In this lesson, we're going to be talking about Bluetooth scanning. So we're going to be looking at a program called BT Scanner. BT Scanner is part of the Kali Linux set of packages that are just installed by default. So we're going to run BT Scanner, and it brings up a little interface like this. Now at the bottom, you can see I've got a couple of choices here. I could do an inquiry scan, or I could do a brute force scan. With a brute force scan, it's going to ask me for a start address and an end address. In this case, I just want to have it go looking for devices and just see what's out there. I'm not looking for anything in particular, so I'm going to do an inquiry scan. So I type I, starts the inquiry scan. Now, I happen to have a Nexus 7 that I have just turned on to be visible. So that should be showing up, and sure enough, you can see that right there. I'm gonna copy the address just for use a little bit later on. What it's doing is it's going out and looking for all of the Bluetooth devices that are nearby me, and then it's actually showing them in my little list here. So far, there's only one that has persisted there, and that's the Samsung TV. Although you can see that there are devices that continue to be found nearby, they're just not showing up as though they have been resolved with a name. So we do have some additional devices. Now what I can do is actually take that OUI, for example, 001E52, and I could go to a website and actually figure out what that device belongs to. So I'm going to bring up a web browser. I'm going to go to OUI Lookup. Since BT Scanner is not telling me, we're going to go to this web page here at coffer.com, and I'm going to say 00:1e:52, and that should give me a vendor, and that actually belongs to Apple. So somehow we ended up finding an Apple device down here, 001E52, and then EF4AD9 is the full address for that Bluetooth. Now, one thing that you'll notice here is these look an awful lot like MAC addresses, and that's absolutely true. Bluetooth devices get MAC addresses just as network interface cards do, because it is a communications device that needs what we call a layer two address or a media access control address. And so it does actually get a MAC address. So when you see these addresses for Bluetooth devices, they will be six hexadecimal pairs of digits. And so 12 hexadecimal digits that comprise the full value of the MAC address. And BT Scanner is actually showing that to us. So now we've got a way to actually look up all of the Bluetooth devices that are nearby, and we can use this information in some of our other attack tools so that we can actually do other things like, for example, using BlueSnarf or some of the other Bluetooth tools.